So we know there are no disqualifications or countouts. You can only walk out of that demonic structure a winner via pinfall or submission. But Hell in a Cell is one of the most brutal and dangerous matches in the history of WWE. Just look through the annals of history to see what havoc has been wrought in that steel cage enclosure. Well, they call it Hell in a Cell for a reason. If it was easy, they'd call it Picnic in the Park or something. Well, your point is well taken, Byron. Victory must be run inside the ring, and anything not nailed to the ground can be used as a weapon. This is where the dark forces of evil are unleashed. Hurricanrana, ideal meal. Oh. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. There is no way out, no disqualification, and one fall to the finish. Corey, how does a superstar get the win in hell in a cell? You gotta bear down and face your opponent head on. The task at hand is the most important thing in the hell in a cell. Using the cell as part of your offense is also highly advised. Ooh, and Van Dam turns the tables. Ricochet's attack. He goes for the cover. Not quite there yet. He's looking to get this match won in short order. The springboard attack fails to land. Ricochet in his clutches. To the top rope, there's flat-legged moonsault! Just 
locate something. Up across the shoulders. Here it comes. Tiebreaker. He thinks he has it. He got the shoulder up in time. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh, costly error. And there is the recoil for Ricochet. Bad spot for RVD. You gotta be kidding me. What just happened? I don't know, but I think it just blew the roof off this arena. Ricochet needs to stick to his game plan to finally cross the finish line. Ricochet just so unpredictable. What? Soaring! Diamond lock drop from the top rope! RVD up the turnbuckles! Oh my god! Oh, he doesn't connect! Oh. Kick lands! Hoisted up on their shoulders! This is where desperation becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh boy, come on, not the chair. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Two, breaking that steel wall, he has tremendous power. I'd say so. I must say, he's got impressive climbing skills. You're the best, Byron. And now he's making the ascent up the cell. Why? Remember, though, in many cases, coming down is the truly hard part. He has climbed to the top of the 20 foot structure. Cell. Good Lord, did you see what happened to him? I saw it. I'm not sure I believe it. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. And here we go. Business picking up as he starts to climb the cell. Guys, he clearly has no regard for his own well-being. He gave you the first hit, Byron.
this anarchy. Somebody get the paramedics out here. And I assure you, this is all about making a statement. A crazy statement. Wisely, he is coming back down this monstrous structure. And Ricochet adapts. Oh, Joey uppercut.